Now, eight communities in the Memphi East and West districts have seen an end to their perennial water supply challenges from an initiative of a Memphi Man Rural Bank. Officials say such investment is critical and hand washing has become a major health protocol, especially to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Chief Executive of the bank, Dr. Alex Asma, observes it is important for financial institutions to invest in the water sanitation and hygiene uh, in the wake of the pandemic. Prince Pia has more in this report. Every player in Ghana's economy now has been engaged to contribute in every way possible to reduce the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. The transport unions are the latest government has engaged. The Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly has therefore met the GPRTU in Ashanti region on implementations of some of the agreements. So the advice from my office was how they will all abide by the directive from the Minister for Transport to be reducing the numbers so as to create spacing and at the same time the data collection that is all the passengers entering into each car. Nanani Marko Bresyama is chairman of the GPRTU in Ashanti region. We shall take the name of the, the destination he's going, the mobile number and everything so that if something happens we can quickly identify that this person came to this station and this has happened. So that for the highways we shall register every passenger who joins bus to any place. But for the Wawa, we can't do that. So we want to control the disease and at the same time passengers who join the buses. Yeah. So this is to facilitate the contact tracing that health professionals have been uh, battling with in this uh, fight uh, against coronavirus. But the major obstacle to this plan is transport operators that do not belong to any unions properly known as wawa trotro is a vehicle which doesn't stop at one place to load somewhere will jump from a doom and stop at a uh, runabout for this you can get some people to do all this because our worry is that we have, we have some people who don't want to join any you know especially the wawa people this is what i would say so we are pleading with the government to help us cramp down all these people. Meanwhile, the chief executive of KME, Basi NG, has hinted on how to address this challenge. Drivers, because we are in a country where uh, the, the law also allows people of their freedom, mm -hmm, freedom of association. But here is the case that because of their inability to join the union, the unionized ones are also not able to control them. So in in these hard times, what do we do with them? So this is an issue. So I'll be inviting, I'll be inviting those that we know because they've given us a lot of numbers, but there are a lot of numbers that we don't know. So that is why immediately we are going to have a meeting with the regional minister for us to take um, a decision as to how to deal with them. Meanwhile, both parties are yet to agree on the reduction in the number of passengers the drivers must carry. So for the start, the leadership here at the GPRTU station has barred anybody from preaching in the buses or selling in the buses. This is to protect the passengers from any level of exposure. Prince Apia, reporting.